Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and we're going to be looking at a new game called Cowboy Life Simulator. In the 19th century, in the Wild West, you are a poor farmer wanting something more from life. You want an adventure. Sit on a horse and become a cowboy. Unfortunately, it won't be that easy because many dangers await on the path that you are on, and you're no hero yet. All right, this is on Steam. It's not it's not out yet, but this is a demo. Uh, anybody can play it, so you should go check it out. Hey, partner, it's been a long time. I'm glad you're back. All your belongings are in the cart. Let's see what your uncle has left for you. I can't wait to see it. Well, this is it. It ain't much because your uncle tried to find luck at the bottom of the bottle. Okay, continue. I promised your uncle I would help you with your first steps on the ranch. Sounds good. I can show you how to make the ranch work like clockwork. Of course, if you want it to learn by yourself, go ahead. No, I think I will um I think I will do the tutorial. All right, there we go. Move to the chest. All right, let's come over here. Keep your eyes on your on your stats. Yeah, you got your hunger, thirst, stamina, all that stuff down here. All right. We're going to go ahead and pick up this water. And then we're going to press I to get in our inventory and we're going to go ahead and drink. Right click and drink. You know, you could take my old nag as well. He's probably gone off to graze on your grass. Sounds good to me. Just whistle. All right. So you press O to whistle. I thought that was zero. I, I played this for a little bit. And I thought that was zero, but no, it's O. So you press O to whistle. And then the horse comes to you. Press E to interact with your horse. Horse has its own statistics. You can use get a gallop while on horse by pressing E. Horse has saddlebags as well that you could use to store additional items. Sounds good to me. Interact with the horse. All right. Does holding on E do anything? No, it just makes you get on it. Okay. All right. Now we're going to come over here. All right. And we're going to grab that hammer. Oh, nice jump, bro. I'm trying to get off it by pressing the space bar. <laughs> All right. Excuse me, horse. All right. Let's go ahead and grab this hammer. Now I got to demolish parts. Okay. Take out the hammer. Q for options. Demolish. And demolish. And demolish. And demolish. What if you demolish the whole barn? It looks like it looks like you can pretty much demolish any part of the barn. So we're not gonna do that though, because we want to use the barn. Okay, now we need to do uh, some building. I'm gonna demolish a couple more things here. Alright, wants me to build a well. Sounds good to me. What do you think would be a good spot for a well? Probably right here. Uh, it's kind of like out, out in the middle of everything. I, I, I kind of want it off to the side. Maybe I'll put it over here. All right, so let's go ahead and do some building. And that's the F key. And then we're going to go to uh, miscellaneous. And there's the well. I can't really tell what this is. Rotate. Yep, there we go. That looks good. All right, right there. Now we just come over to it. Oh, hold on. You have placed your first structure. You can't use it until you finish it. Equip your hammer and left mouse button. Got it. All right. And there we go. And now we have a well. You are good to go. There are way more resources that can be used. Look at all the trees around. You can use them to build more structures. Uh, yeah, we got to get an axe. Hold on, let me drink first. All right. So can I drink from this whenever? Do, does it take a while to re refill up? Yeah, I guess it takes a little bit. Doesn't seem like it takes that long, though. Okay, take an axe. All right, we got the axe right here. You got a pickaxe right there. I can't take it yet, though, because we're doing a tutorial. Here. Horse! Come to me, horse! Let's go. Okay. There we go. I'm going to chop down this tree over here. Copes. Is copes like a kind of a tree or something? I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and cut down this tree. Remember that some resources are respawnable. All right. So when you chop down a tree, it leaves a stump. I'm wondering if you have to leave the stump in order for it to respawn. Oh, did I chop this stump out? Okay, so the stump disappeared. All right, fair enough. When I first chopped this tree down, the stump disappeared as well, but I thought it was because I chopped out the stump. You have a wood now. <laughs> Remember that you can use your hammer to place structures, press F in the building menu, and... And select the lumber mill. Ooh, a lumber mill? That sounds cool. All right. I'm all about the lumber mill. I wonder where I should put it, though. See, I'm not really sure what's going to go where, so I'm not really sure what I should put where. Kind of just, like, learn it as I go. Lumber mills help in turning logs into planks. You can also store your logs here. Okay. Oh, boy. 
That's a big one. So am I supposed to be putting all this stuff right here? Or I don't know. I don't know. I guess this works works out. Although, man, this thing takes up a lot of freaking room. A lot of room. Kind of don't want to put it here. It takes up too much room for this spot, I think. Um, eh, I'm not going to worry about it. First time playing the game, it's all good. All right, let's go ahead and put some logs into this bad boy. Oh, boy, look at that. Oh, there's more to build. Hold on. There we go. Is there... Oh, there's even more to build. Oh, that's a spicy meat the ball. Oh, God. Okay. All right, I like this game. I like that. I was going to say, if it only took three logs to build the whole thing, that would have been kind of weak sauce, right? In the lumber mill, you can process your logs and... And... Convert, convert them into wood boards. Um, interact with the windmill, windmill to create wood boards. Sounds good to me. All right, wood boards. How many? Um, oh, they're making it right now. Okay. I don't know how many it wants me to make. Uh, Thirty wood boards. Okay. Can you like do more than like what? Can I like set it like hey make thirty or do I have to just keep clicking it like that? I guess I have to keep clicking it like this. Maybe there's a way to do it. I don't know. Also, what's with that fire down there? <laughs> do I need, like, fire to do this? Or I mean, apparently not, but... Okay, there we go. And I could store log. I could store... Uh... I said I could store logs. Maybe it'll tell me how to store logs. We can mine resources as well. There are many types of resources, such as gold, silver, charcoal, coal, and more. Uh, return to your cart. Get the pickaxe. You will need it to mine. Remember that your items have durability. You can either buy new items or repair them with resources. All right, very good. I like where this is going so far. We're off to a good start. This game seems pretty good so far. Okay, reach the mine. All right, horsey. This is a job for you. Wish I could, can we jump over this? Kind of, <laughs> not very elegant. I wouldn't mind a third person option. At least a choice, you know? Like I, I kind of like first person, but so sometimes I want to be in third person. Like when I'm riding a horse. Uh, this. You have to stay here? All right, whatever. You stay here. Keep a lookout, horse. Okay. Mine any... Ka Karen? Karen? There's Karens here? Uh, remember the resources are spawnable. Resources are spawnable. Does that mean respawnable? Yeah, come back in sometime to check if... Yeah, okay. Respawnable. All right, fair enough. So, let's go. Let's mine this. Let's get some iron. Now, are we just picking this up automatically? I don't know. Let's take a look. All right. We could build a blacksmith to produce nails now. Did I pick that up? No, I didn't pick anything up. This stuff's flying all over the place. Wait. There we go. That's only one piece, though? I wonder if the, uh, yeah, the other pieces are flying all over. Okay. I need to pay attention to that. All right. That one's over. Let's mine, let's mine a little bit more. I know it wants me to build, build a blacksmith, but I'd like to mine. Yeah, I'm going to pick these up as I mine it. Do we get one per hit? Come on. Mine it, damn it. Yep, it's one per hit, I think. Yep, so if you hit it once, you got something to pick up. Wait, do you pick up the ore? I don't even have to smelt it? <laughs> okay, well, don't forget, it's a demo, guys. I don't know what we need a blacksmith for. Well, I guess you would smelt it with a forge, but yeah, definitely need forges. I grabbed a bunch more iron out of there. So let's go ahead and place down the blacksmith. A blacksmith. Oh, you actually need logs for it, too. I put all my logs in here. I don't really know what the point of storing anything in here is. You could store stuff in there. I just don't really see why you would want to. Um, I don't see any kind of weight limit or, I mean, anything like that. Uh, it doesn't mean there's not a weight limit. It just means I'm not seeing it. All right. Well, fair enough. Let's go ahead and put this thing down. I broke out the fence here because I want to put some stuff over here. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. All right. And now we build this part. Yeah, this game's pretty good. Um, and, you know, I'm starting to remember this game now. I did do a series on this game quite a long time ago. But I only did, like, maybe one or two episodes. And this so far is um, way beyond what I did before. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, great. You can produce nails now. Produce them enough to build your own house. Remember that you uh, you need a few you need a fuel to create nails. Uh, for this case... You need to add it to the container before creation process. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that was easy. I didn't have to like do a bunch of different parts like that one. All right, cool. 
Let's take a look. Um, wood logs. Okay, so I still need wood logs for that. All right, nails. How many nails am I going to need? Now, am I supposed to, like, repair my house or just... I think I'm supposed to tear it down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to demolish this entire house. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, there we go. I could build... I could build, like, a few different houses in the build menu. I'll show you that in a second. I'm just going to kind of... Yeah, this thing is dilapidated AF. All right. Come on. Actually, was this a house? Yeah, it, this looks like it was a house. Or maybe a barn or something. I don't know. I think the barn is over there. Yeah, this game seems pretty cool, man. I'm, uh, so far, I'm liking it. I like the fact that you need to drink and eat. I, I really like that. Uh, you know... I'm assuming we're going to have some kind of things to worry about as far as damage goes. Like uh, other cowboys, maybe some kind of animals. I don't know. What was in the Old West as far as animals go? Bison? Uh, bison going to run me down or something? I don't, I don't think of bison like that, but I don't know. Maybe that's the case. Uh, wolves? You know? Uh, I don't know what other kind of animals. Definitely rattlesnakes. Let's go ahead and take this out. All right. And that's all looking pretty good. And let's take a look at the houses. So we've got small house, we've got medium house. Oh, you need the medium house blueprint. Okay, so they want me to do a small house. Fair enough. That, that makes my decision easier. In a way, I like that because it takes away like me having to be like, well, on a small house. Blah, 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 blah. All right, uh, nails. Those, those. you know, I saw the picture and I'm like, oh, screws. Well, where are the nails? No, those are the nails. So is it one for one? Let's take a look. I don't think it's one for one. Yeah, there you go. All right, cool. And I guess this is only on when it's on. I don't have to, like, turn it on or off, which is nice. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a house. All right, it's not a bad little house there. Kind of put it back here a little bit. I like that. And come on. All right. Yeah, no, this is going to have a lot of different parts to it. It's a little tricky when you're trying to build, you know, uh, where the ghost image is. Sometimes it doesn't quite, like, lock in, but not really a huge deal. This is like a hovel. Yes. Actually, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Stop talking crap about your house, Cage. Come on. Come on now. That's not, you know, it's, I mean, it's episode one. <laughs> uh, build the bed. Okay, bed makes sense. Uh, the bed, now, the things you have to build will be highlighted. So I'll just go through here and see. There you go. Uh, rotate. I don't know where I want to put this. Um, I kind of like it against this wall, but I also want it closer to this. How about like right here? Yeah, I want it close to that that heater. Not that it really matters in the game, but you know, if this was real life, since you since you move further. Since you move further, you will be able to buy a new blueprint to unlock additional buildings. Now you need to reach your garden. Okay. Uh, I will help you tremendously. Yeah, I mean, a garden's important. Can I finish my bed first? It's kind of weird that I went to that quest and I didn't even finish my bed. Come on. Come on. There we go. Reach my garden. Okay, garden's way out there. Horse. Come on, horse! Let's go! Can I name the horse? I gotta figure out if I can name the horse. Okay. Well, this is a barn. It's not a garden, but I get what you're saying. Alright. And here we are. Take a shovel. Alright, I will do that. You have a shovel now. Open your building panel and select the garden category. Next, select any... Arable? Um, land you want to place. You can plant vegetables in the field and trees in the orchard. Orchard. Okay, sounds good. Uh, animal, garden. All right, small field, big field. Did they, they don't require anything? So why would you want a small field? I don't know. I don't really see any difference there. Medium blacksmith. I don't know what medium... Oh, upgrade. Oh, maybe you need it for an upgrade? All right, and then orchard. Let's just go with a big field. And, oh, wait, was it snapping into place? Oh, I thought it was snapping into place. That would have been dope. I like it when stuff snaps into place. Uh, is this a good... Yeah, this looks pretty good as far as the orientation. So I will just put this right here. 
Great, you can now use your shovel to dig it. All right, you dig it, sucker. There we go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. We're almost there. Beautiful. Some of the plants can only be placed on a rabble land. I'm not, is that a word? Am I just, is that like a mistyped word or is that something I just don't understand? Probably. Uh, you will know it by checking the details in your garden's blueprint. Okay. Take apple seeds. All right. Grab some apple seeds. Take cabbage seeds. I guess I'll make an orchard as well. Plant any seed. So once you have the seed in your inventory, you need to go to the build menu and like this. And then see, it can't go right there, but it can go over here. Uh, how many of these do I have? Wait, do I only have, I only had one, right? Hold on, let me see if I can put another one down. I assume I can't, but it's green. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, I also build an orchard over here because why not? And let's go to the build menu and the garden. And what did I get? Apples? There we go. They sold apple tree. Yep, can only plant one. Very good. Take the watering can. All right, that makes sense. Take the fertilizer. You can use the watering can to hover over the planted seed and increase this, uh, the seed wetness. Wetness can also be increased by building a water tower. Natural occurrences such as rain will also... Oh, that's nice. Okay, I like that. Fertilizer will increase plant growth. You can add fertilizer to plants to that have enough water. Okay, so I have enough water to, to do the fertilizer. You could build a composter that will allow you to create compost, which you can then add to plants. This will further increase growth speed if the plant is a perennial. Uh, you can collect certain resources from it, such as vegetables, fruits, uh, seeds that you could use to plant uh, to plant plants. Okay, cool. All right, let's water them. Um, oh wow! Okay, that's pretty cool. Growth, decay, water, dry out. For oh man. Okay, wait. Does this thing have water though? I, I don't left click. I thought it said left. Hold to water. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's not exactly going on the plant, but it'll work. Yeah, I definitely want some sprinklers or something because <laughs> this is going to be a lot of work. Now, does this container have like a certain amount of water in it? Like, or, hold on. Uh, inventory. Water, one kilogram. Yeah, I'm not sure if it says how much water is actually in this thing. Maybe it just says never any water and you don't have to fill it up. It's taking a while to fill this thing up with water, though. I went ahead and slept till the morning. Um, now, the fertilizer, it doesn't really seem to work very well. I mean, you just have to sit here and hold it down. The fertilizer bar will not fill up. It just gets used, like, right away. So I'm not going to sit here and fertilize things. I do like the apple tree more. Uh, it seemed to get, like, when I put the water in it, it seemed to raise the water bar a lot quicker than the, than the cabbage. So if you guys are playing, I would do that tree. Okay, cool. Um, what's the next on the agenda? Buy your first animal. Okay. I hope it's only 50 bucks because that's all I got. And I don't think I have anything else to eat or drink. Well, I, I mean, drink won't be a problem, but I don't have anything else to eat. As a matter of fact, since drink won't be a problem, this is really dark, isn't it? That's okay. Uh, I will go ahead and hit the well. If I, I can't see. I can't see. I need a headlight, headlight or something. There we go. I'll just drink out of the well. All right, where are we going? Over here. I mean, I almost want to sleep till noon, but it just seems like a waste of time. All right, well, I I guess we're just going to buy an animal. Maybe like a pig or something? What can I get for 50 bucks? Like, well, I mean, I guess in the Old West, that's like kind of a lot of money, isn't it? Can anybody go to like, um, I don't remember what year this takes, 19th century. Someone go to the Old West times and do a money conversion thingy. Tell me how much uh, 50 bucks is with inflation uh, <laughs> in today's money. That would be awesome. I'm trying to brighten this up as much as I can, but it's rough. Uh, first time I see the owner of this barn. It looks messy. Since I am your neighbor, I want to give you a gift. I like gifts. Take this dog for free. I hope he will help you out with your ranch. Oh, cool. A dog. Where? Where's my dog? Great. You ordered an animal. Oh, I ordered it. It would be delivered soon to your farm. Remember that you need to take care of it and build it a shelter. Reach your farm to check if the animal is there. 
All right, I will check it out. I think I'm going to look for some kind of light source or something. Like, um, I don't want to, like, sleep till noon because I'm losing too much daytime. But, man, it takes a while for it to get, like, bright enough in this game to, you know, record. So we'll just have to see about that. Um, for now, let's get back here and see if our animal's there. I don't know how they deliver dogs to you in the Old West. Um, but, you know, we'll just have to see. Oh, poor horse has no stamina. Poor horsey that I can't name. I, I don't know. I haven't tried. I don't, I don't think he can, but... I'll put you right here. Okay, I'll walk out there. I don't want to like scare the scare the dog. The doggo. There is your animal. It needs shelter. Uh, but before you build it, you need to understand how you can steer it. Press E to interact with the animal. Oh, okay. Great. Now you can use commands to move your animal. Uh, ask your animal to follow you. Follow me. Oh, this game. Um, this game's seeming pretty good, man. Like I'm, I'm starting to really. Get hyped about this. You have other commands as well. You can ask your animal to follow you, ask him to stay in the current position, move to another place, uh, optionally, uh, attack or let free. When you dis dismiss an animal, it will be assigned to a certain structure. When you dismiss animal, it will be assigned to the current structure. If you don't have a structure, then it will be placed in the middle of the farm and will be vulnerable to bandits and wild animals. No, my dog's not. Not, not my dog. Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. Wait, I told him to follow me. Didn't I? Follow me, please. Yeah, follow me. Let's go. There he goes. Do I have to keep that up there, or do I have to keep that dog thing up there? I'm pressing follow me. It's not going away. Uh, switch between companions. Assign animal to a structure. Free animal to use quick slots again. Oh, oh! When they said free animal, I thought it meant like run free, give him up. You know. Uh, but that's not that's not what free animal means. Okay. Well, let's build a doghouse for the little fella. All right. Rotate. Yeah, that's the entrance. Okay. That's a perfect spot for it. Perfect spot for old Fluffy. I don't know what I gotta call him. Uh, stay stay there. He's not following me. He's like stuck on the horse or something. Follow me. Well, oh. Oh, there he is. Okay. So he got stuck. So he teleported to me. That's fine. Okay. Stay there. And then, yeah, so you need to keep... You can't do anything if you're telling the animal what to do, I guess. So, I guess we'll just stay in that area. All right, good. Let's go ahead and build the doghouse for him. Come on. All right. Now that part. Okay. You have built a doghouse. You can assign your dog from... You can assign your dog from now. Tame him and assign to a structure. Wait, have I not tamed him yet? Okay. Assign dog to the doghouse. Press Z while controlling the animal. Okay. E. And I guess you have to look at it. Assign animal to the structure. Doghouse. Oh, okay. So you don't have to look at it. Got it. There he is. He's nice and safe. Look at him. Look at how safe he is. All right. What do you got to say, bro? Nope. I know they took your rifle when they pardoned you. But the Wild West is a dangerous place. Take this old revolver and go to a nearby shooting competition. It'll help refresh your skills. Oh, all right. Look at this guy with his little bandana. Ah, you're the one who owns the barn. I'll give you a, I'll give you a free round. Sounds good. Shoot the bottles. Um, with what? Am I supposed to have a gun? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let's put that right there. Five. Okay. Oh, you didn't tell me to reload. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna click on my middle mouse button to lower my sensitivity. That's how I shoot. I go from like thirty two hundred DPI to like sixteen hundred. Beautiful. Look at that, huh? Where'd you learn to shoot like that? 7-Eleven. Name me what movie that's from. Not bad for a first timer. Yep, that's right. Your farm was attacked by a wild... Oh, no! Oh, no! Wait, I didn't bring my horse out here because you guys teleported me out here. All right, well, we're going to go... We're going to go... Sh See, that wild animals. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I mean, obviously, there's going to be bandits at some point, but wild animals are pretty cool as well. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I just wish they didn't teleport me out here. Because then I could have taken my horse back. 
Now I'm all slow and shit because I got no stamina. Oh, my, my poor animal. Defend my ranch. I'm trying. Maybe my dog will defend it. Hey, Fido. I, can I name him? I got to find if I can name him. All right, hold up. We're getting there. I'm glad actually animals are attacking because my guy's getting hungry and it's going to be good to get some meat. Hopefully they're not too badass. I don't know if there's any kind of melee in this game. It might just be guns. We'll just kind of see how that goes. It takes a while for this guy's stamina to come back. What is that? Is that a boar? Yeah, that's a boar. Come on, bro. Yeah, what up? I guess old West guns are pretty pretty pathetic. And sorry, I just put one between his eyes and he didn't go down. There is a new there is a new horse racing event. Participate to win big prizes. Thank you for playing. Expand your farm and become the most wealthy farmer in the West. Awesome. So we finished the tutorial. I got some meat. How do we cook it? Can I do anything else with him? Doesn't look like it. All right. So how the hell am I supposed to cook this stuff? I built this crafting stove, but it doesn't really do anything. And then I noticed a meat dryer. Meat dryer is even better than a stove. Uh, I'm going to put this right here. Eh, nah. I'll put this over here. Seems like a pretty good spot for it. There we go. And let's go ahead and craft this thing. Come on. There we go. And then the middle part, we should be able to dry some meat. All right. You can use a meat dryer to dry meat uh, and convert immediately all of your raw meat. To immediately? Shouldn't it take some time? I feel like it should take some time. All right. Dry meat. Um, add fuel. Well, that's not how a dryer would you. Well, a smoker you would use meat. You would use, but like a dry, a dryer, I just thought it just hangs out there. Like if you're gonna do a smoker, then I could see it taking you know time. This more this is more like cooking the meat. It seems. I was talking about the game being too dark, and there was a lantern up here as well. So I did grab the lantern, which is really really nice. Let's go check on our crops really quick, and then we're gonna check on the dried meat. Why is the dog out here? Is that my dog? Um, isn't he supposed to be in the doghouse? Yo, dog. Uh, let's go to the doghouse. You. All right. Uh, assign to a structure. Maybe because I left the area. Doghouse. All right, get in the doghouse. I need you out here getting killed. All right, let's look at this. Um, do I have to have a certain thing out to look at this? I thought... Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, it's almost watered. Or the, it's almost watered. <laughs> the water's almost out. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to water this thing. Collect... Q, collect resources, statistics. All right. There we go. All right. Getting lots of stuff off that thing. Now, I'm going to have to figure out a better way to water it because, man, it took a long time to water. Although this one didn't take nearly as long as the other, as the other, as those, um, cabbage. And who the hell wants to eat cabbage anyway? All right. Let's see if we can water this. Yeah, this is, this is taking a while. What was the thing that waters it? Some kind of water house or something? <laughs> yes, a water tower. Okay. I will definitely make the water tower next episode. Let's come over here and check this out. Yep, see it's drying out. If you just hit it once, the dried out part goes away. I guess the... What does decay mean? I guess it decays no matter what. I'm thinking it decays no matter what. And once it's decayed, then you're, you're done. Can I take resources? There we go. Cabbage. Cabbage. Seeds. How many resources can I take? Is that it? Wait. When does it end? Can you just take resources forever? Yeah, I'm thinking you can just take resources forever. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that'll change eventually, but... Yeah, look at this. All right, yeah, th yeah, that's looking... Okay, that's great. All right, so let's come over here and check the dried meat. By the way, when I was at my my blacksmith, I could see the dry meat being made there as well. When I was um when I was over here, I was in this thing, and I saw the dry meat down here in the queue. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I got a lot of food now, and I can even plant more. That's great. That's great. I'm assuming those are just gonna decay and die. Um, there's the dried meat. Um, whoa, 100 hunger. Holy moly. Now does this go bad? Uh, cooked meat from an unknown source should be safe for eating. 100 hunger. Um, I don't I don't see anything that says decay time. So I'm thinking this stuff doesn't decay. 
Is that like worth eating or should I wait until I'm super hungry for that? I think I'm gonna wait until I'm super hungry. I'm assuming 100, 100 fullness is my entire hunger bar. Although I don't know for sure. I guess, oh, whatever. Let's just find out. Yeah, it's probably the whole hunger bar. I probably just wasted some, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine. Well, guys, you know, I think we're going to do more of this. All right? If you guys want to see more of this, make sure you let me know in the comments, like the video, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. But I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.